up YouTube, it's your boy Riku the best, better than the rest, aka the Dark Knight, you call me that you good for today, coming at you with another Dragon Ball Legends discussion video, there's gonna be 5, not, not 5, 4 new spark units in this ultra space time summon number 4, I think I said it right in the right order, regardless, social media is gonna be at the top, if you have any of those platforms, follow your boy, we're gonna be talking about each and every one of these units, I have not seen the stats, I have not seen the abilities, I have not seen the moves, etc, etc, and so on. So we're gonna go through it together, as a family should, Dark Knight Army. So, how many tabs do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, no, they're all not Spark units. One, two, three, four, okay, so yeah, four new Spark units, just like the last Ultra Space Time Summon, the one with Krillin, Heartfires Goku 17, and 18, and then they had the old Super Saiyan Vegeta, so I'm not gonna stall any further. Piccolo fused with Kami Kamikolo, is the new blue spark unit. So let's check, god damn, it's blast attack. Oh, yeah, this must be the light grenade one, hold up. Let me look at 2.6, ah, that's more than a green Piccolo HP, that's really good. His power level is gonna be really high. As you guys may or may not know, the newer the unit, the higher the power level will be, that's just how it is. So, this guy HP is really high. I think it's about as high as uh the new Goku that came out last banner, probably higher than that purple Gohan, so it's gonna be 100% over 600k. So, let's check out this guy's stats. So, he's gonna be more on the blast side because he is a range unit, a range blue unit. Do we have any? Yeah, Krillin is range blue, Burley's melee, EX Goku's melee, Pan's support. So, his blast attack is gonna be really strong, I can tell. Let's see the boss. So, Piccolo's key restore speed is hella good for a range unit. It's really, really good. It's, it's definitely, I wanna say top five in the game. Top five with like Zarbon, IT Goku, and Pan Band top three. So his Q store speed is really good. That's that's hella scary. That's very scary. So main ability 50% to blast damage inflicted for 15 timer counts to nullify his own unfavorable. What? He nullified. Wait, hold on. Nullify his own unfavorable element factor for 45 timer counts. Does he just nullify green type? Are they really trying to destroy green this meta? Yeah, if that's what it means, that's gonna be insane. Wow, wow, he's trying to make it so blue can be usable online, for him anyway. Main, for 45 timer counts. Is that is that real? Is that actually real? 45 timer counts, is that actually real? Intimidate, sustain blast damage up, inflicts, okay, to Android, downgrade 35% to blast damage received. So when he switches in, much like Cell, but he's gonna increase blast damage. I think he's gonna, hold on, blast damage received. So it's gonna be affected, affecting the androids when he switch in. You know, if they have an android tag, as soon as he switch in, they automatically gonna have the negative 35% blast damage received, much like Super Vegeta. So 50% blast damage against the android tag? God damn. Yo, they really trying to murder the purple and green meta. They really are. Hells on grenade, it is, okay. Hells on deals, deals major explode damage gain attribute upgrade, minus 40% to enemies cover sustain, wow. Wow, so if you have a cover change damage reduction, it's gonna nullify most of that damage reduction. If you get hit by the hells on grenade, that is. Plus 10% to allies blast damage for 15 guys. Two key blasts, bro, I can't even be mad at you for having two key blasts, you need it. Any bus regeneration. Regeneration Android is gonna be like an insane tag. Cell, Piccolo, Piccolo, yeah! Cell, repeat, Cell, Piccolo, Piccolo. You know what, let's go to the next person. What is he? We already went through his Z ability, yeah, Regeneration. I'm looking forward to Piccolo more than anybody. And to maintenance, shout out to my boy Ren Z. It's gonna be on DBZ Legends Space website. It's gonna be in the link in the description below if you can't see it up there. Kid Trunks, Kid Trunks is also a range unit, range yellow unit. He's gonna be the buffer for hyper sense. God damn. Yeah, hold up. Let me go to HP. He has really good HP. Not as high as Piccolo. It's really good HP, but his blast attack is pretty much. Hold up. Okay, I, I had to double check. All right, so his strike, his offensive capability is gonna be more than Piccolo. Base stats. I don't know about overall, but we're gonna check it. We're gonna check the. His power level is gonna be as high as. Why are they releasing an Android unit with a Boo Saga unit? Yo, that's funny. Either way, this is still cool. He has high key restore speed for a range unit. All right, so I'm a little stronger. Main ability inflicts, inflicts enemy with a tribute downgrade. Minus 100% to key recovery, much like Krillin's main ability for 10 counts. 75% to own vanishing 
gauge or gauge recovery when HP is higher than your opponents for 10 timer counts. So you can just switch them in and activate after like using someone else in battle. So, wow, okay, okay, that's actually pretty decent for stalling for like rise rush stuff like that. Team Goten, 40% to blast damage inflicted when Goten is battle member, 20% to blast damage inflicted after battle starts. So, as soon as he battle starts, he gets 20% damage inflicted. You have Goten on your team, that's 60% to your blast damage, as well as your debuffing main ability and your 70% vanishing recovery meter. That's crazy. So, Double Buster deals major impact damage, 15% to blast damage inflicted for 15 timer counts, inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade. Minus 30. He's gonna be more, you know, he's gonna be way more annoying than Krillin when debuffing the key recovery for the opponent. He's gonna be annoying. So 10% to blast damage inflicted, minus one to blast art cost for each. You're kidding. So for three hybrid sands, if he's counting himself, he's gonna have minus three to his blast arts after key card activation. Wow. He holds a melee and a key card, which is freaking perfect for a range unit. Yes, I love that. 17% to hybrid same base blast attack. Pretty sure Super Saiyan Trunks has the same thing. Not Super Trunks, but Super Saiyan Red Trunks. I like him. I'm yo, I won't pick up more than any freaking body. Let's go over to Goten. Check out the stats. So he's more strike oriented, which we already knew for the most part. Some of us did anyway. So his HP is lower than Trunks, I believe. From what it says on the wall. Oh, it's actually higher than Trunks. Holy crap. Yeah, his HP is higher than Trunks. His HP is the same as Green Piccolo. It really is. So probably minuscule values it may differ, but for the most part, yeah, it's gonna be around the same. So of course, unlike Trunks, he's gonna be more melee oriented, which is cool. He restores speed, I believe it's more than Trunks. His main ability, charge, destroys all your destroys all your blast cards and randomly draws one new one. Enhances the damage of the next art cards. Used based on the number of blast cards used. Uh, blast cards destroyed, excuse me. So if you destroy three blast cards, what? Whoa! Whoa! Yo, that's like in Yu-Gi-Oh when you use card destruction. Yo! Minus the, the buffs to monsters, but the, the fact still remains the same, destroying the cards. Whoa! I really like how different they made these units. Ah, legends, let's go, legends, man. Damn. Yo. Looking very good. I'm really liking go Trunks <laughs> Kick Rocks. Goten, we, you all about it, fam. Goten, you all about it. Unique ability, Team Trunks, 40% damage. His unique ability is gonna be the same. It's just gonna be, instead of a Key Blast buff, it's gonna be a melee buff. So, special Kamehameha, 15% to his. Melee damage, 20% chance to inflict faint. Oh, the Kamehame. Wait, does Trunks not have it? Oh no, he does the Key Recovery. Trunks does the debuff and the Key Recovery and decreases his Key Blast cost. The more hybrid things you have, he, Increases uh, his melee damage, destroys all his cards, then increases next card art, and it's Kamehameha, Kamehame, ha! Inflate, has a chance to inflict faint, and it's a 20% chance. His key card is also the same effect, but for strike arts. Really cool. So it's gonna be minus three if you have, I assume if you include himself. Minus three for all three hybrid saints on the team. Hi, two melee cards. Oh Jesus, perfect right there. He, this is gonna be really, really freaking good. Base, strike attack, hybrid sands, going all in his banner. I'm going all in this banner. You have, like, now I'm not even going to say that, dude. I really want Goten and Piccolo, dude. So, on to Android 16. This is freaking and Oh, my God. What is his stats, boy? What is this man's stats? God damn. Yo. Yo. Chill. What is this man's HP? Yeah, hold up. Nope. Holy sh... This man, yo, this man, Android 16, literally might have the second highest HP in the game. Yet again, another green unit with insane HP. It is slightly below Bardock's HP. Damn! Ah! So going over to his abilities, Blast Attack is actually trash, surprisingly enough, right? Hail's Flash, you know, stuff like that. And he's the defense type. Yeah, he's gonna be like the tankier, tankier version of Piccolo during the previous metas. And the game came out. So look at this guy's strike attack. It's not bad for a defensive unit. He's I feel like he's gonna be a reverse Android 17. Android 17 was defensive. He had very high key blast for a defensive unit. I feel like it's gonna be the same situation with him. But guy, his key stores, yeah. Key store speed, 1994. I feel like that's fair. I wish it was a little bit lower, but I'll have to see depending on what the rest of his abilities are. Main ability, I'm going to self-destruct draw the 
Awaken Art Card, Final Strength. Okay, so after 25 uh, timer counts. Unique ability reduces, reduces damage received by 50% until combo ends with changing cover, like Pigla. Restores 50% of damage taken during the cover. What? Restores 50% of damage taken during cover change and plus three down substitution. Wait, restores 50% of damage taken during cover change. Oh my God, really? What? Robot body nullifies abnormal conditions. Fair enough, he is an android. Hell's Flash deals major impact damage, 30% to own self-destruct damage. Yeah. Okay, so dash up initiation. So dash forward to initiate the Hell Flash. Key card, 15% to self-destruct damage and key. Restores key by 30. Wow. Everything is just going out for the final boom. Ultimate special. Final strength deals major self-destruct damage to enemy. This self-destruct damage does not depend on your own health, but deals a fixed amount of damage. 50% to allied character Gohan key, key restoration speed. Hold on now. This is kind of confusing. This self-destruct deals major self-destruct damage to enemy. So, okay. This self-destruct damage does not depend on your own health, but deals a fixed amount of damage. 50% to allied character Gohan key restoration speed. So does it do this amount of damage? I'm not sure how that works. I could be like misunderstanding something, but forgive me. I'm looking at the same time you guys are looking at this is like just first look. He has two melee cards. Really, really like that. Defensive unit has two melee cards. So he could have melee and the key blast. Doesn't matter, but by the game knowing that he's trash blast wise, they're gonna do him two melee cards. 20% to Android strike defense. Wow, this is getting so cool, dude. Extreme Trunks is where we're gonna go over to next. Range blue unit. So he's gonna retain this, the blast factor of, oh, Kid Trunks is. So overall health, not the greatest, not the worst either for an extreme, but there's a plenty of extreme units that has way more health than him. Example, Extreme Frost. So blast attack, of course, is gonna be his main virtue. His Q star speed, 1,569. It's pretty bad. 30% to blast damage inflicted, main ability, unique ability, he buffs. 20% 20, 20 to blast damage inflicted when kids are in battle. The tag kid, so him, it includes the kid to go on as well. I don't know about the Super Saiyan 2 going on, I have to double check. When you have Goten on your team, 25% to own vanishing recovery. So that's good, he's gonna be stalling. He's like Dr. Dro and stuff, installing wise. Deals major impact damage, inflicts enemy with the attribute downgrade, 25% to vanish. Recovery. Double Buster, of course, 10% to damage inflicted with his key card. Holds melee and key blast. So he buffs blue like generally any other EX unit would from uh, sparking. Going over to Goten. He's also blue. Melee type. So obviously he's going to be melee oriented. Not too much to say about that. I believe he has more HP than Trunks. Let me go over it. He actually has less HP than Trunks this time around. Extreme variations has more key restore speed. Main ability, 30% to strike damage inflicted for 20 timer counts. Draws a strike card as well to help him out. I, I like that idea. Drawing a certain card now, drawing a strike card, drawing a key blast card, that'd be cool. So unique ability is pretty much the same. Team Trunks 30% to key recovery. I think that one was different, but the other one is strike when he has uh, kids as battle members. So check the tags. Deals major, uh, deals major impact damage and flex enemy with attribute downgrade. Minus 20% to key recovery for 10 counts. 20% to strike damage inflicted. Instead of 10% to damage inflicted, Oh no, 20% to blast for Trunks and 20% uh, to strike for Goten. He owes two melee. Yeah, okay. That's perfect. So he does the same thing and wow. That is what, yo, I want freaking, yeah, that's insane. I didn't think they would have four new sparking units. It's not too far-fetched because Ultra Space 3, I believe, 17, 18, Heartfires Goku and Krillin were all new. So, this time around, who are you looking forward to to pull in his banner? I didn't think it would be this damn good. I was going to say throw a 1,000, 2,000 crystals and be done. I don't even know about that now. I want 16. I want... Who's the other person? I want 16 and Piccolo more than anybody out this banner. That is all I have to say. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, guys, pull the unit that you want when it comes out. Jenna, bye.